Hello everybody, welcome to Body Awakening. Hello. Today's program really is dedicated to all you brave soldiers that have finished the five day cleanse or are just about to come off. Um, and you're at the point now where we are reintroducing ourselves to the normal world. Okay. And how do we uh, go about do doing that, that properly? Yeah. Really, you want to take, I'd say, about half the amount of time you spent cleansing to transition back to your, I'm going to say normal diet, but for a lot of you, hopefully it's an improved version of your normal diet. You want to start slow. Um, the body, you know, digestion's been at rest for a couple days, so ease into it. I like to recommend starting with maybe some fresh fruit, like papaya, um, pineapple, you know, they're, they're really high in enzymes. Um, it could be salad if you like vegetables, something raw. Chew really well. So we kind of forget that digestion really begins in our mouth with mastication, so the actual manual breaking down of food, the saliva starts to break it down. So we need to start that process in the mouth. So first day, I would say pretty much raw. Raw fruits, raw vegetables, um, still lots of fluids, herbal teas, probably so what fresh would I have for lunch, then? juice. What might I have for lunch? I'd say a salad, yeah. Maybe we'll put some good oils on there, like an olive oil or a flax oil, some apple cider vinegar or fresh lemon. Go easy. You know, you might think, great, it's time to eat, and I'm just going to, like, stuff myself. But your body's not going to appreciate it if you do that. Okay, so what about stuff like, because um, I know for me, when I'm coming off the cleanse, I really look forward to the eating, like, bread again. Yeah. And eating rice again. When, when should I that? do that in an ideal world? In an ideal world, I'd say probably your second day. Start adding in some grains. I'd hold off on the bread. Um, it is still processed even if it's a dark bread there's yeast in it that it's not great for everyone um do like a you know brown rice with steamed vegetables again topped with maybe some oil and sea salt uh, could be like roasted buckwheat a, a good whole grain i would say fine to add in the second day and what about eggs, meat, fish, that sort of thing? Yeah, for this, I would say on the third day. And again, you know, we have to get a sense of our own body. So maybe it's the evening of the second day, you add in something, you know, an easy to digest protein, like a light fish. But definitely, I'd say on the third day, you're probably good to go with some protein, um, like eggs or fish or, um, you know, organic chicken. And then kind of by the fourth day, yeah, you can be back to your normal diet, but hopefully not jumping right in on lots of coffees and cocktail hours and, <laughs> and all that. What about stuff like caffeinated? I mean, you know, obviously in an ideal world, none of us go back to any of the drugs that mm -hmm. we love so much, like tea and coffee and, and wines and sugar. But if we are, if we are going to slip back into that, yeah. at what point should we really try and hold off? And then at what point should we be like, okay, I'm going to have a bit of green tea or whatever. I mean, what to do yeah, with that? Yeah, for the green tea, I mean, I try to give yourself, you know, five days or so. Really, the, the longer, the better. And for a lot of people, what they find is cleansing is a great time to break habits. And I'm not, you know, it's not all bad, of course. I mean, tea has antioxidants in it. Coffee does too. We need to watch with coffee. Um, it's a heavily sprayed crop, so definitely organic is better. But for a lot of people, they really break these habits when they're cleansing, and they're not actually, you know, dying for that cup of coffee. So I think as long as you can kind of just go with it, do, and then, okay, maybe slowly you have a cup of tea. But the more you can kind of resist falling back into your old pattern of, like, I'm tired, I need a caffeine hit, um, do and, and start to recognize that maybe you're tired and you didn't go to bed early enough last night and so okay you're tired today but tonight get to bed early good advice everybody get to bed <laughs> early <laughs> okay cool well let's leave it there for today thank you